Hello everyone, I'm Satina. I'm the creator of Plated Conversations, a plant-based cooking show that was created to encourage people to try out new recipes and new ways of eating with ingredients they may already have at home. Plated Conversations came about because I love to cook and I love to entertain. I love having people over and enjoying fun foods that I make that they don't even realize doesn't have any meat in it. Um, also being a surgical tech for the last five years, it was very important to me that I show people the importance of health. You only get one body, so you don't want to just damage it. Eating things that won't allow you to hike and live long lives and enjoy your family. So. Um, just really explaining that to people but also showing them recipes of amazing food that tastes good that has really really great ingredients kind of helps to drive the point home so the way that i design these meals are basically whatever i'm feeling at the moment if i'm in the grocery store or if i go to the seasoning store my favorite um, and see a new seasoning i'm like hmm i wonder how i could incorporate this into a recipe i wonder how this would taste mixed with this um, so just really designing it around the way that I'm feeling in that moment, but most importantly around health. Working in the operating room, I see between four to five surgeries a day. I don't think that it's important for you to be so strict that you don't enjoy yourself. You definitely want to design some dessert in there as well. Um, I love to juice, so having a great orange juice on a hike that's been in the freezer right before you go, so amazing. What makes it so fun when we record is just all of the love in the room. Um, having people that aren't vegan or aren't plant-based try all of the recipes that I make and just to watch their face, their reaction, and just be like how amazing it is, that's what really excites me and keeps me motivated. Also to get that text from them later like, can you run me that recipe? You know, that it's really encouraging and lets me know that I'm on the right track. When we premiered the first episode, it was very exciting to read all of the comments, read all of the people on the actual page and in my DMs telling me how much fun it was to watch a cooking show that taught them so many new things about food that they may not have known. To come to work the next day and one of the doctors I work with so excited to tell me that his wife and his daughter watched and how excited they were to, to try new things with ingredients they already have. I love to take ingredients or spices that may be new to me culturally but one of my friends has always used it growing up and they introduced it to me. I love to see which how many different ways I can incorporate that into different dishes that I use. Um, I love to make dips and sauces and I like to place them in mason jars because you're able to use them on so many different food options um, and get that flavor throughout it. Designing meals around your health is very, very important. It's something that I think that we all should take into consideration. Small steps, if you decide to perhaps have a meatless Monday, or make it something in your household that each person gets to decide what dish they're going to make for that week. That's new to everyone. Just have it as a fun game or a fun thing that you guys do to incorporate it into your house. The fun thing is you can take these meals to work. Let co-workers try them. Let them see how much fun you had making a new recipe. It's a fun game. You should try it at home. If you want to design your life and your health around where you plan to be in your future, Think of your family, think of your friends, and how much they would like you around. With that in mind, it's easier for you to design healthier ways to eat. I really hope you take away a few things from this and design your life in a healthier way around food.